Hi, my name is Lisa, and I'm going to teach you how to make an easy peasy uh, citrus body scrub for a homemade gift for this Christmas. So here's what you need. You need a nice little jar or big jar, whatever size you like. You need a mixing bowl. You need organic coconut oil, one cup. You need half a cup of sugar. So easy, so easy. And then the zest of three limes. In this case, we're gonna use limes, but I've also made them with oranges, the zest of an orange, zest of a lemon. You could put in um, essential oils, whatever your heart's desire. The key is your half a cup of sugar and your full cup of coconut oil. So easy. So, You'll also need a spatula, of course, because you're gonna try to get your coconut oil out of your one cup measurement. So you put that in the bowl, handy dandy. Again, don't even need to melt it. Throw in your half a cup of sugar and start mixing. So you blend that together till it's all kind of smooth and the sugar is all smoothed out through the coconut oil looking pretty good there it's coming together smoothing it out and then you start zesting you need one of these gadgets so it's not a cheese grater it's a little finer than that I don't really know what it's called but you can zest your line so you start zesting let me get my hands right here Ooh, so pretty I'm on the wrong side no I'm on the right side I'll show you what it looks like in just a sec Getting some nice color in there. You try to pick the greenest limes you can because you want nice color in your citrus scrub. It smells so good. So here's an example of what it looks like so far. Can you see the green stuff in there? Looking pretty good. Continue to mix. I like the zest of three limes in it because I like a nice strong scent. Gives you kind of a refreshing feeling rub it on your legs. Best to do it in the bathtub, to use your scrub in the bathtub, because then you won't be slipping in the shower. So, keeping it on the side of the tub while you're having a bath. There we go, mixing in the lime. See, I like way more than that. Get a little more zest going here. So that's why I use three. You can use as many as you want. Or you could do a combo. Maybe you'd like to have a peppermint lime, throw in some essential oils, or a orange mango, I don't know. I like the zest. The zest gives it a stronger smell. Maybe not the mango. And I like the smell. I want it to smell pretty. So there's a little more. And that's just one lime. So we're mixing it up. Don't even have to mix very hard. It gets nice and warm. And then we're going to add it to the jar. Here we go. This will do about four of these little jars. Or you could do, so we just add it to the jar. There we go. Or you could do a big jar and a little jar. Send off a little set. So if you're making this as a gift, you could do a lime zest, an orange zest, a lemon zest, peppermint. You could offer three little jars of different scents. Put your cover on and then decorate it. I already have two completed that I decorated because I mean, you know, if you're giving a gift, you want it to be decorated. So you can do whatever you want. I happen to just put a little bit of jute around this little ribbon and two candy canes because there's peppermint in this one. So I mean, hey, throw in the candy canes for peppermint. And here's another example. This dandy little ornament here, you can't see it probably, but it has my name on it. It says Lisa. So how cute if you can find a little ornament with someone's name on it that you're giving the gift to, you could give them both together. Little peppermint, little orange zest, what fun. So you can decorate them however you want. It's easy, easy, as you can see, we just did it in five minutes, and then away you go. So I hope this is helpful to you, and I do hope you have a Merry Christmas.